four years ago, I did what I did for a reason. I stood by what I did four years ago, just as I stand by what I did four years ago right now. And I'll, and I told you so, that's it. I told you so, I told you so, I told you so. And it is absolutely disgusting for me to sit here and see my friends, people I know, smeared because Ben Shapiro, after he resigned, Joel Pollack, who is a social climbing failed political candidate from Illinois, who ended up carpet bagging it to uh, California so that he could work for Trump Bart News, decided to write a horribly horribly written malicious piece about Ben Shapiro you putting Ben's face in a gold star and Ben's Jewish and I'm sure that that thought didn't escape Joel uh, put that up on Breitbart News and accused him of betraying Andrew Breitbart's Bart, Breitbart's legacy, his widow, etc etc and he ended up having to pull it and apologize for it. It's an absolute dumpster fire over there. You guys need to make up your minds at that website if you want to be kingmakers or if you want to be journalists. And as for the proprietor who I think has put this website on the trajectory that it is, it goes to show you that if you don't know anything about integrity, if you don't know anything about ethics, if you don't know anything about dealing with people, if you don't know anything about running a website, as a failed, in my opinion, Goldman Sachs washed up has been cargo short wearing wannabe the next Carl Rove. Maybe you should step away and quit ruining the legacy of somebody that a lot of people actually like. Maybe quit trying to turn a website into a weapon on behalf of a political candidate, at least according to the staffers who work for you. And you can scream and you can cuss at people and you can do everything all you want six ways to Sunday. But I'm going to tell you what, I'm really happy. And I applaud all of the people with integrity and ethics who are standing up against this media matters of the right because that's what it has become, sadly.